Shares of chip giants NVIDIA and AMD sink in today. This is coming after a report from the information that Google is in talks to sell billions of dollars worth of its own AI chips to Meta as competition in that AI chip race heats up. For more, we're bringing in Yahoo Finance tech editor, Dan Howley. Dan. Yeah, Josh, this is uh, basically, you know, kind of the story that we hear every so often. NVIDIA has competition, NVIDIA sinks. That competition rises, and then after a while, people kind of, you know, filter back into NVIDIA. And so this is basically uh, on this information report that Meta could use some of Google's TPUs, their uh, tensor processing units. It's an ASIC, uh, an application-specific integrated circuit. You don't have to know any of that. Basically, you just have to know Google has its own chips that it uses to run its own AI. Meta might start using them in their own data centers. This is if the deal actually does come together. It would be huge for Google. Uh, they already do rent out their TPUs to developers to run their software on Google's cloud platform. Uh, it's worth noting that we've been talking about uh, NVIDIA having competition from its own customers, like Google, for some time now. So it's not as though this is completely out of nowhere. It's not that nobody thought that you know, Google or, you know, Meta, which has its own chip, or Microsoft, which has its own, own chip, or Amazon, which just inked a deal with Anthropic to provide as many as uh, a million or more of its own chips to run its own cloud models. This is all something that's been known. I think it's just the idea that, you know, two of these companies are linking up. And then, you know, NVIDIA came out today basically saying, look, uh, you know, uh, our chips are a generation ahead of Google's, which, you know, I think people see and then they're like, well, why is NVIDIA even responding to this? Uh, you know, it, it could send a message that maybe they, they you know, don't want the market to think that they're weak or, or anything along those lines. But, you know, the, the, the matter of fact is that NVIDIA puts out a GPU that's a general purpose uh, computing device. It's, you know, graphics processing unit. GPU stands for that, but it, it also does general computing. And so it can be used for a multitude of different tasks that require parallel processing, whereas an ASIC is application specific. It's literally in the name. And while, you know, Google calls their chip a TPU, that's it's a category of ASIC. And so, you know, it's not as though you can take that and dump it in uh, and start running other models. There's also the software uh, capabilities that uh, NVIDIA has with CUDA. Uh, Google also has its its own software. Uh, but, but I think, you know, net net, it's not as though this is the you know uh, death knell for Nvidia being the leader in AI. It just means that the competition that you know we Yahoo Finance have been saying was coming from their own customers is finally here. Nvidia erasing more than two hundred and forty five billion dollars from its market cap today amid a new report from the information on Google's AI chip growth. The report detailed that Meta is in talks with Google to purchase its TPUs, a challenge to the market leader Nvidia, which sells, GPU. So what exactly is the difference between the two chips? Let's bring in Yahoo Finance tech editor Dan Howley for more. So TPUs versus GPUs, Dan, what do we need to know? Yeah, okay. So TPUs are what Google calls their chips. They're called tensor processing units. Uh, and they're a type of, get ready for something else, ASIC. Uh, an ASIC, uh, A-S-I-C, is an application-specific integrated circuit basically spells it out. It's a chip for a specific type of application. Uh, that's really what you need to know about ASICs in a nutshell. Now, what makes them different from GPUs? GPUs, they're graphics processing units, but in the NVIDIA case, they're used for AI, are general purpose. So you have a general purpose chip over here and you have an ASIC over here. Now, Google uses their TPUs, these ASICs, to uh, train and deploy their AI uh, Gemini uh, across their various platforms. Uh, they're also offering them out to Anthropic now. Uh, and apparently, according to this, uh, the information report, going to be working with Meta or could be working with Meta, providing them with chips as well. So what does that mean for NVIDIA? Well, it means that exactly what we've been saying for two years now, uh, you know, that their own customers have been working on their own chips and could be competitors. This isn't necessarily new. It's just that there's the report of this deal and the you know, Wall Street reaction, in, in my mind, seems to be as though these people have never heard that <laughs> Google had its own chip or that Meta is working on its own chip and has its own chip or that Microsoft does or that Amazon does. All of these companies have been doing this for some time now and it allows them to diversify beyond NVIDIA. So it doesn't necessarily mean that NVIDIA is going the way of the dinosaur 
at all. Uh, if anything, you know, uh, one of the uh, the analysts that I follow said this could be a bigger problem for AMD because they were setting themselves up to be a, a viable uh, alternative to NVIDIA. I don't even think that that's necessarily the case. I think that a, there's still room for AMD. But the, the, the real thing for people to understand is that, you know, when uh, an application changes or a company wants to, you know, take its chip and then uh, uh, a chip and then use it for a different application, they can do that with a GPU chip like NVIDIA's. For an ASIC, it's not really the case because they're built for specific applications. Again, application-specific integrated circuit. So that makes it a lot more difficult. The other thing is NVIDIA has its CUDA software. Developers develop on CUDA. You know, uh, they're going to have to do something different if they're going to develop on TPU. So it's not exactly a one for one. It really is, I think, for, for a lot of companies about diversifying and getting access to that uh, compute that they need. A lot of these companies are saying that they're capacity constrained. They just don't have the chips necessary to build out their infrastructure. And so if they get another source, then that's great for them. And that that's really where this is all coming from. Yeah, it makes sense. So it's not necessarily of an instead of, it's maybe in an addition to the yeah. chips that, that they had, because we know that they are thirsty for compute. Wherever they can get it from, um, that has been the theme, Dan. Thank you so much for breaking it down for us. It's very helpful. Thank you.